Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of uh, Scriptly Adapted's Artist Roundtable. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm good. And um, okay. Welcome to another edition of the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you today. We have uh, a great artist, one who I know uh, personally, uh, writer, director, producer, actor, teacher, creator. Creator. Mark, am I missing something? <laughs> is, it, is, is there something missing? Uh, no, I'm pretty good with, uh, you know, pretty good on a date. Okay. But, uh, mm -hmm. Great dater. We got, we got, <laughs> we got the one and only Mark Stolzenberg. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, man. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Listen, man, um, you know, we, we go back. I, 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 I'm taking uh, some courses with you, of course. Um, you made me into the thespian man I am today. <laughs> But no, Mark, um, we wanted to talk oh about, you know, just you overall, your mm -hmm. history and so on. So let's mm -hmm. uh, you are uh, you, you run uh, uh, the, the New York School for Film and Television in good old New York City. Um, mm -hmm. Amazing school. I've taken classes in it. Uh, hundreds of thousands of other students have taken classes in it to hone in on their craft. Mark, tell us a little bit about the school, what you offer, what you teach. Um, sure. You know, just how they can find you. Okay. Well, it's the New York Acting School for Film and Television. And the URL is actingclassforfilm.com. F-O-R film, not the number four. And uh, so it's actingclassforfilm.com. And uh, I started the school about 20 years ago. And it was an outgrowth of my passion for film acting. I mean, I just... I can't do anything in my life without feeling connected and passionate about it. And I've always liked teaching. You know, I'm also a, a professor of drama in, in the drama department at the New School University. Part-time, I teach one night a week. The rest of the time, I'm an actor. <laughs> so I, I never wanted to be a full-time teacher, but it, uh, I do enjoy it and it fits into my lifestyle and it works. Really quick about your teaching experience say that you don't really, you haven't really wanted to be a teacher, but in doing it, have you gained a different sense of fulfillment within the craft from teaching Ab for it? Ab absolutely, absolutely. One of the things that I discovered early on, which kept me teaching was that I learned from watching my students. Mm -hmm. I become a better actor by watching my students and by trying to help them. So when I try to help a student, it's in a way I'm identifying with them and I'm, I'm helping myself in, in some sort of way also. So uh, it's been very helpful for me and also it's helped me as a director because I learn how to pull things out of people and uh, see what's going on in their heads and trying to change their performance. And so it's really helped me as a film director more than anything else. Uh COVID changed the way classes are being taught currently? Are you doing Zoom? <laughs> when the pandemic hit, I freaked out. I mean, I tried hanging in there like to remember when it first hit, like in March, was it? Yeah, March. Was it 2019 or 20? I can't 20, remember. 20. It was 20. Yeah. So I kept my school open until around the 19th or 20th of March. Mm -hmm. And I had like hand sanitizers all over the place and all this stuff. And I was like, you know, trying to stay in business. And it was just, I realized, no, I can't do this anymore. I had to shut down the studio. And uh, it took me a couple of weeks to discover the whole Zoom thing and get that up and running. And the great thing is what I discovered was that I actually enjoy teaching on Zoom more than live. And I think it's more, effect it's more effective for what I teach because I teach film and TV acting on camera. True. And when you're on Zoom, you're on a close-up, just like you are in a movie. Very good. Hey, think about it like that. Because it's more focused in, in what you're doing. Looking at your resume, you have done a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Slow down, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> no, don't ever slow down. Keep going. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about some of the shows you've worked on and currently are working on. Um, for instance, the Boardwalk Empire episode. We, we, we saw that. We watched the whole series. We were like... We Wait. just finished that series. Wait. Oh, okay. Yes. And it was our first time watching it. <laughs> it was a great. It was a great little part. Um, not a little part. It was a nice cameo for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I had a big long speech I gave, but I had to play a photographer 
yes. on the boardwalk from that era. And I, the whole audition process was extremely challenging for me because uh, I researched photographers from that era and I looked at pictures of all these different like news photographers because the, the whole business of photography was changing in that time, especially uh, on a news and professional level. So I really got into the research and I found this one photographer, I can't remember his name right now, but who wore this kind of hat from the era and he was a real character. And, I, I, and, I, and so I built my character around this, around this guy. And uh, so I went in, did my audition and it's a funny story. She says, uh, Meredith was the casting director. I can't remember her last name. She said, uh, Mark, that was great. I love what you did. Could you do it again? Because I think you looked in the camera. I said, Meredith, I didn't look in the camera. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, she said, I think you did. I, you better do it again. I said, I teach this stuff. I'm telling you, I didn't look in the camera. She's like, well, just do me a favor, do it again. Well, I did it again. I never pursued it any further, but I got the part. Um, but tell us about Bull. Oh, well, that was fun too. So I have a story for everything. So Bull, I was supposed to be a raving, angry person. At some, there was a big, like, sort of a scam. What do you call it? A uh, <clears throat> financial scam, pa Ponzi scheme. Yeah. yeah, Ponzi scheme. And I was a victim. And there was a court case going on, and all the people who were victimized by the Ponzi scam had gathered in the lobby of the courthouse and were protesting. And I was supposed to be one of the irate, I was one of the irate protesters who they focused in on my story. So the news, and I, when I went to the audition, it's, the script said, B, he's so angry, he, he's just about ready to punch the camera in. That's how angry he is. I'm really good at doing anger. So I went in and I just let it rip. <laughs> and the casting director went, oh, gee, that was incredible. Oh my God. And she was like, sort of a little bit taken aback. Like she didn't, she said, you know what? This is like CBS. And I don't know if they can handle that kind of like <laughs> rape, raw anger on, on network television. Can you, can you take it down a notch? I said, sure, I'll take it down a notch. I took it down a little bit, made it almost as angry, but not quite. She said, oh, wow, that was great. You better take it down another notch, just in case. And she, and then do one more. So I, had, I did five gradations. Wow. <laughs> now, this is an audition, right, for CBS wow. television. So, you know, you have to be on your game when you're doing this. Yeah. And when I, get, when I get into a situation like that, I'm so on it. I don't get nervous. I'm just totally 1,000%. My super consciousness takes over. I'm like, tell me what you want. I'll give it to you. <laughs> so I did about five takes of different gradations of anger. I got the part. Nice. And uh, they used the first one, the <laughs> raving lunatic. They're all bad. <laughs> Luggage of the gods. Oh, yeah. It was your starring role. Tell us more about it. Um, you know, what you loved about it. And if you have a story you. for that. Good. Oh, I have a lot of stories. Because okay. I was, <laughs> but um, I answered, this was years ago, and I answered an ad in backstage. It was, but it was for union actors, a union project, but it was a low budget film. And, uh, but so, but I, I, I sent it, I, I submitted myself. Well, they saw 2,000 people for this part, and I got it. I got the part. So uh, I felt very good about that. Uh, and I played a caveman in the 20th century who was undiscovered by modern man. And so, <laughs> do I have to say anything else? <laughs> I mean, the best part of it was running around in the woods for six weeks, scantily clad in leather. I, I really felt like I was a, a primitive person and it was really, a, kind of freeing emotionally. It was so much fun, so much fun. Along with the school and your mm. personal acting um, and, and, and the jobs you, you, you get, you also do um, have a production company of your own. Um, right. Circle of Life Films. Um, or, and, and you've done um, a, lot of, a lot of work on there. Um, yeah. I, I, um, I, I did a, a film with you guys, um, which, Meet your match. Meet, Meet your, your match. match. Yes, that was, that was fun. Um, but Bart, tell us, tell, tell us a little bit about several like films. Um, what what productions or production 
is happening or if you have going on currently that 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 you want to highlight with mm -hmm. it um give us some information sure well circle we have a, our own uh movie channel that we're our goal is to develop a mini netflix kind of uh, streaming service and we have and a production entity where people might hire us to shoot their films or whatever or hire me as a director uh, so we have a website circleoflifefilms.com and you just click on that and you see we, we're now showing five of our films and you can subscribe to our movie channel and every month we release another film or two that you get part of your subscription. Um, you, you mentioned, uh, or not mentioned, but um, also um, I, there's a film that, I believe it's a film that you did, uh, Actors Anonymous. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, Actors Anonymous is a great concept. It's about uh, a support group for people who are addicted to acting. And they're trying to stop. So it's a takeoff on Alcoholics Anonymous, the same thing except these people can't stop acting. And if they, if they do one little bit of acting, they fall off the wagon and they can't stop. So they have to go to these meetings. My family couldn't take it. They never saw me. I'm so tired of this bullshit. I just want to punch someone. Stand-up comedy was a blast. I always thought I was in control that I could stop any time I wanted to. I was trying to get real, but somehow I got lost. After New York, LA, Chicago, every Asian territory. So I do something called Star in the Movie. It's a it's an actual class that I teach. Very cool, yeah. And uh, so let's say I have ten people who sign up for this course. So what I do is I hang out with them for the first three or four classes and talk to them. We do improvisations. We bat around ideas. I learn about everybody's personality and their hobbies. And then I take all those ten people and I scramble them up in my head, and I write a script for those people as a for a part for each person cool. and find a way to connect everything That's so really oftentimes when people see, and they, the movies come out great i've been winning awards at film festivals of all the movies mm -hmm. that you have ever seen what is your favorite and why, uh, why? and why oh that is a that's tough <laughs> it's, it's a zinger i know I know. Um, I have two favorites. No. Everyone has two. I know. But because it's you, Mark, I'll take the two. Uh, 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 if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, it would be being there. Hmm. Shirley MacLaine and uh, Peter Sellers. Interesting. Uh, Why? Yeah. Uh, I thought the whole concept was ingenious and the acting was off the chart where people can find your works, um, any social media. I know you briefly mentioned the URL for the acting class as well as your um, your website for your film school, but tell us mm -hmm. you know, anything any Instagram, else, Facebook. like handles. Yeah, I think uh, hashtag NYC acting class, hashtag NYC acting class is our Instagram. Then we have the Circle of Life Films Instagram also. Circle of Life Films NYC, I think it is. And we have Facebook presence also for every everything. The school has a big Facebook presence also. Thank you for joining us uh, on another episode of Scriptly Adapted's Artist Roundtable. Um, it's been a pleasure. It was I'm awesome. Um, Kate, thanks so much. This is Mark. You guys, you guys are great hosts. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.